explaining automatic mixers is easier if we understand what's the problem we're trying to solve. Let's suppose we have a classroom or a meeting room where every participant has a microphone. If Joe starts talking, how many microphones can pick up his voice? Clearly, the microphone in front of him will pick up the loudest signal, but all the other microphones will pick up some of his voice. The level will depend on how far the microphones are from Joe. But how many microphones are picking up background noise? We can see that all microphones will be picking up background noise, and it would be roughly the same level. So problem number one is noise. One microphone is picking up Joe's voice, while 12 microphones are picking up background noise. So this is 12 times noise and 1 times Joe. Some possible solutions for this is mute unused microphones, lower the input or level of unused microphones, or gate off unused microphones. In this same scenario, what is the maximum level that we can have in that room? The limit of a room is determined by feedback. Once we reach that level, we can't apply any more gain. With that in mind, how much gain then can we apply to each microphone? The answer is not that easy. It depends on how many microphones we have. All sound systems with microphones being amplified in a room have a level limit. This level is determined by feedback and can be given by the Pagnag equation. System gain depends on the total number of microphones being mixed. And every time that we double the number of microphones, we add 3 dB of gain to our system. So for instance, let's suppose that we have a room limit. This is the feedback level of a room. If we put one microphone, we might not get feedback because the level might be below. If we add a second microphone, when we mix those two microphones together, we gain 3 dB. Our output level is going to be much higher than each individual microphone. If we add a third microphone, we go a bit higher. If we go to four microphones, we add 6 dB. We are duplicating again from 2 to 4, so we gain 3 dB more. If this increase puts us above the room limit, we'll get feedback. The solution will be to apply less gain to each microphone, so when we sum them together, we don't reach the room limit. So problem number two is gain before feedback. If we have more microphones, we have less overall gain for each one of them, and we have more chances of feedback. But putting less microphones means that we're going to have less coverage. Some people might not be heard properly. Possible solutions for this problem is to mute unused microphones, lower the input level of unused microphones, or gate off unused microphones. Lastly, in this scenario, what happens if Jack is picked up by David's microphone? As we talk, we tend to move side to side or turn our heads. This constantly changes the distance to both microphones. Certain frequencies will arrive at both microphones in phase, creating constructive multipath interference. But certain other frequencies will arrive at both microphones completely off phase, creating destructive multipath interference. This multipath interference is also known as confiltering. At some frequencies summed in phase, we have constructive interference, so we have a peak in the signal. If they are summed completely off phase, we have complete cancellation and we have destructive interference. So problem number three is microphone interference, also known as confiltering. That is that hollow sound we hear when two microphones are picking up the same signal. Some possible solutions is to mute unused microphones, lower the input level of unused microphones, or gate off unused microphones. So it seems that the solution for all three problems is exactly the same. Mute unused microphones, lower the input level of unused microphones, or gate off unused microphones. Automatic mixers are mixers that have the ability to automatically gate off, reduce, or control the level of unused microphones, solving problem one. They can also maintain unity gain at the output by adjusting levels to compensate for the number of open microphones. That solves problem number two. And they also have mechanisms to allow only one microphone per source, solving problem number three. There are two main types of automatic mixers, gating automatic mixers and gain-sharing automatic mixers.